The video you're about to see starts on the northern edge of Araby at Benjamin Street, and it passes over the area where 25 year old Connor Lambert was found dead after the tornado hit. From there, you can follow the path of the destruction all the way to the Mississippi River. Connor Lambert was just 25 years old, and he was a former football star at Chalmette High School. Meg Ferris spoke with his former coach and others who were close to him. Yeah, she joins us live now with more. Meg, this is just all so hard for this community to take. Very hard, Katie and Sharice, and part of that is because Chalmette, here where I am in Araby, it's such a tight-knit community. People out here volunteering, helping each other, but because of that, they all know each, each other, and because of that, there are many people who are grieving this loss. Connor Lambert is being remembered as everybody's All-American, a star football player at Chalmette High. He did track. He did football. You know, the true student athlete. But he had a him was, no matter what he was doing, he was confident. The brilliant student who graduated from ULL and was now working as an engineer with a NASA contractor at Stennis. I want you to think of, uh, you know, what you would think about for an ideal teenage boy. That was Connor. Uh, Connor was very intelligent. In fact, he was, he was elected by his uh, fellow seniors as the most intelligent of that year. Uh, he received a National Merit Finalist Scholarship. The lovable, fun guy. Connor in the hallways, uh, always joking and laughing, and yet the smartest kid probably had in school over the years. And the one who parents wanted as an influencer. You know, just overall great kid, a kid that you want to, you know, your daughter's a date, a kid you'd want, you know, you'd want your other kids, and my sons did, you want them to hang out with him. At only 25, Connor was a homeowner in Araby, a neighborhood near the 40 Arpent Canal. That home is now a pile of concrete, wood, twisted metal, and memories. Loved ones pray in disbelief over a few of his belongings, one which appeared to be a storm-battered American flag. Officials say it happened fast. He got out of his truck, ran to the porch when his home exploded from the massive twister, the car wrapped around a tree. After the storm, his neighbors looked for Connor. Started calling his name out just to see if maybe by a miracle there was some way he was uh, able to make it out of that. But uh, we looked through all the rubble last night. Um, his family showed up. We continued to help them. His body was in a neighbor's yard. Right nearby, the body of his pet, Australian Shepherd. His parents came to the scene and had to do what no parent should ever have to do, identify and say goodbye to the one, the son, they cherished. And people tonight have the exact same glowing words for the entire family. That was his mom and dad in that last picture. His mom is a school teacher. He also leaves behind a brother who is the band director at Chalmette High now and a sister who they say was a star athlete as well. Reporting live from Araby, Meg Farris, Eyewitness News.